if you see me and you want to say what's up, ski. What's what's the what's the principal saying? Kofu, Ujima, Umoja. It's one of those Habarigani principles, and that's what the ancestors would want me to do. At this big age, I'm not gonna even hold you. Like, there's not a bench, there's not a tree stump, and it's raining. Sexual chocolate! Sexual chocolate! Hey, good people, it is Tishara from Politics and Fashion here with all the rings on, girl. Do you see the jewelry? Now, you might be asking if I could have any more on, and the answer is yes. Something about these red nails and all of this jewelry is just making me feel like I have reached the pinnacle of Black Girl Bougie, and we're here for it, especially because it is a New York Fashion Week. Welcome to the vlog, good people. Let's get started. Um, I'm passenger princessing currently. I'm wearing the Celine two-piece set that you all would have seen from my Summer Trends video when I talked about um, coordinating sets being a trend. It is going to be so hot in New York. It's hot AF currently. So we'll see how we make things work. Um, I should have brought like one of those little personal fans. I had one and I lost it in Miami. But either way, we have some more time together in the car. But before we get out, I'm gonna have to put on my makeup in the car. I had lashes on. I just ripped them off because they were like with the gangsta lean. Um, I wear Ardell Wispies just in case you were wondering my makeup. I'm not wearing any now, but all the makeup that you'll see me wearing this week weekend will be linked down below but I'm gonna have to put my lashes back on in the car I'm not looking forward to that do a full beat in the car because the first place that we're gonna be going together is the Doors NYC showroom sorry I had to sneeze um, I'm stopping by there to pull a couple of pieces specifically accessories so I am going to get dressed there for the evening and then I'm going to dinner with the fashion girls so you will see all of the fashion black congressional caucus is what I like to think of it as so you you, you will see um, a mighty part of the caucus tonight so we have a long day ahead of us and let's get started and just like that the rain has started it is literally raining cats and dogs y'all i checked the weather and it looks like it's gonna stop raining at six but it's added some time to the trip and i don't know i'm just a little nervous now about being able to really do much of anything today so fingers are crossed but let me just show you So tell us who you are and where you're from. I'm Kaylee. I am a fashion lecturer from BCU. I teach 
marketing and business promotion. Um, I'm wearing a student's wear called Jade Cousins and it is just the movement is fantastic. I love it. And you're just wearing it with a white shirt? Yeah. The shirt, yeah. And is the shirt also by the yeah, student? Absolutely. So oh, they did such a great job. Design. Put on a face in the car. I think it looks pretty decent for a face in the car. However, when I got out and went into the door showroom, I definitely had lashes that were very crooked. Um, but the showroom is super cute. So it's kind of like a pop-up and then they allow for uh, content creators and people in the industry to pull different looks. I unfortunately didn't see anything that I wanted to pull primarily because today's Friday. I think they opened the showroom on Tuesday. So the best things were kind of gone and they didn't have very many things in my size anyway. However, the designers that are featured there are bomb. Like I love that silver ring that I showed y'all. I almost got it and I was like, Respect yourself, you literally just got to New York two seconds ago. <laughs> so I don't wanna like literally hit the ground running, um, spending money. So I was gonna change there, but I decided not to. So right now I am going to stop and get a drink, maybe get a quick bite, like an appetizer before dinner because I'm hungry. All I've had is breakfast today. Um, and I need some like greens in my life too. Cause I think I had macaroni salad for breakfast and like prosciutto toast for lunch. So, um, Jane, we just passed by and I've eaten at Jane at least once, maybe twice. So I'm about to pop in there, have something to eat, have a quick drink and then change my clothes. And I'll show you what I decided to finally put together. Spoiler alert, it is probably gonna be the white suit, but I'm gonna play with how I accessorize it. So hitting the ground running y'all. If you see me and you wanna say what's up, Ski. Hi friends. I'm sweating bullets, but I'm finally in the first look. About to down this white wine. Uh, someone said in the comments that the Tom Ford Sunnies were look with this. But because I want to have these on, like it's part of, of my outfit all night, I can't do the Tom Fords. Because they have a yellow lens, child, I'll be, no. So, I'm wearing the Saint Laurent, and these have a very light, like, sepia, sepia um, tone to them. Right. have on the YSL bra. I am wearing a nipple cover despite my better judgment um, and a Zara suit and Saint Laurent shoes. I will stand up and give y'all the full OOTD in a second, but let me cool off and let me have a couple sips of this wine. She make the boys go away, go Rilla, uh, just let me in, let me, let me in Playing games, never let me win Shoulder on ice, very, very thin If you caught feelings, she gon' bury them, yeah Swear you get away with murder But you won't get away this time if you get Okay, Shana, let us know what's going on so, with the next set. So, both pieces are from Dylan Lex this is one piece. It's a long chain. I just wrapped it around and choked. And <laughs> choked. And then this is another piece down here. This is this is all one. This is all one. Oh, they make the best yes, jewelry. Yes. OOTDs, what are we wearing? Simply um, Shauna. wearing a Zara bomber. This a bomber Zara. was everywhere. Yes, yes. If you don't have it, get it on eBay. You can get it on eBay. Um, Zara bodysuit. I love it. Rick Owens. It better be. And Fendi. Yes. Just a little song. Okay, okay, we coming over here. We coming over here. What we got? What's the OOTD? This is black owned, um femme. Ooh. Alexander McQueen. Perfect. <laughs> 
Yes, with a little bit of Botanica egg on the feet. Wait a minute, but I got these in black the other day. You did? Them is bad. Sale, right? Girl, Come you on, already sale. know. Uh, right, cause you, that's the way we because that's the way. We don't pay for a price for luxury. Okay. Okay, Britt, what we got? What we got, sis? I have on a Philip Lim dress. You better. You <laughs> fucking better. I have on some Amina Muwadis. Okay, can we see the thigh meat? Pick, pick that thigh back out. It's a little bit of thigh. It's a little bit of thigh meat. Look at that. Girl. Yeah, the Chanelli. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. We haven't gotten into your fit because we're glasses twinning. Period. This detail. Why is that? It's the Loewe with the Loewe bag for me. Get all the buy money. What's the fit, sis? Frankie Shop suit, Zimmerman bralette. Oh, I love it. St. Laurent chokers, Givenchy necklace, and then we've got the cape boots. Ooh, those are fantastic. Yeah. In the oh. bag? Bendy. We already know. Oh, and old, old, very old Gucci. Okay, what's the fit, Monroe? I think it was that Jean-Paul Gaultier dress. Oh. Louis bag and earrings. Ooh, 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 ooh. A little Magna Boutrum on my feet. I love it. This is, this is the latest season. Okay. Of course it is. Get it right. Of course it is. A little Fenty Beauty on the lip. Okay. MVP. Because I am. As you are. And that's As it. You are. The Fenty Beauty on the lip. And who was the dress? Sexual chocolate. Sexual chocolate. I, I yeah. Sexual chocolate. <laughs> it's only take, take when you come around. You only call date when you coming down, down. I know pretty guys got problems too. That doesn't mean you gotta make a mind. Trust issues is not an excuse. To lock everyone out, keep the pain inside. Girl, you should stay tonight. That's why you get away with murder. But you won't get away this time. That's why you get away with murder. Don't shoot, girl. I'll make this worth your while if you give love a try. Well, good morning. Welcome to day two in a very noisy, noisy New York street corner. Last night was an entire vibe. I walked into what felt like Black Girl Narnia. Like, I did not know that that many of my faves, of the ones that I'm inspired by, I'm sure you all are inspired by, we're going to be there. I met Shauna for the first time, Carolyn for the first time, the Yusuf for the first time, Darling T. Like, everybody okay everybody was there and i'm so grateful for that we had such a good time uh shout out to italy so sarah restaurant on the rooftop for hosting us it is a vibe up there and monroe hosted such a beautiful night for us uh had some cocktails a small bite to eat and me and Brittany, pockets and bows my first time meeting her in real life as well I uh, wanted to connect with Chi last night because Chi wasn't able to come. She actually went to her cousin's show, um, the brand label. And so she went to their show. I saw some video of it. Shout out to those sisters because they're killing it. The brand label was coming up. They already got some good pieces, but what's coming up, I cannot wait. I'm blowing a bag. And I can justify that for black brands because I feel like, you know, I'm investing into the community. What's, what's, the, what's the principal saying? Kofu? Ujima? Umoja? It's one of those Habarigani principles. And that's what the ancestors would want me to do is to just spend all my money with black owned brands. And that justifies any amount of shopping that I'm going to be doing. So uh, me, Brittany, and the Chi went out to eat at a really cute place called Flat Iron, Flat Iron, Flat Iron Room, I think it was called. Whatever it was, the logo was pressed into the ice cubes. And I said, oh, this is fancy. I'm not living life right. Because why isn't politics and fashion in an ice cube? When, when we get their tribe, we've made it. Um, cocktail was cute. I had a small bite to eat, so I'm not gonna hold you. I was still hungry and I had to just order DoorDash McDonald's. Please don't judge me. I was starving. I say, listen, everybody else can be cute, but I gotta eat. I'm at a big age. My, my medications and things, see, I, I have to eat. So about 2.30 a.m. I found myself 
with a McChicken and um, a coconut fry. Uh, however, it was a good night. Uh, put the wrong address also in the Uber, so it took me about 45 minutes to get to Brooklyn, which is where I stayed last night. But when I got there, I knocked out, didn't even take my makeup off, y'all. And of course, was back up at probably about 6.45 at it all over again. And so, came across the bridge, now waiting on my photographer, Anna, to shoot me. I am wearing the Bottega dress that y'all saw in the last video. And yes, thank you for the confirmation to do it with the boots and give just a good old, you know, fashion superhero tease. And so, we're there, we're here for that. Um, I rush so much to put my makeup on, but hopefully it looks good. I try to usually do something a little bit more muted so that I can switch the lip out when I'm shooting multiple looks, but we're here now um, because I did want a bold eye, especially because I'm wearing silver accessories. So all my makeup will be linked down below as well as the looks. Um, the dress, which you all will see, is complete Bottega leather that I got from the Outlet Girl for like 80, 90% off. But I have found it online, so if I can find it or something similar, I will link it. Uh, blazer is Alice and Olivia. I want to be through the whole outfit piece because you all will see it in just a second. Um, and in the meantime, y'all, we are just also waiting for the room to get ready. I am at the Moxie. It's a great hotel. It is so cute in here. I did not anticipate that, so I cannot wait to show y'all around. BRB, sis. I got a very exciting New York Fashion Week package. So y'all, McMullen is a black owned boutique in Oakland. Y'all would have saw me go there in a vlog a while ago. Um, and I was with my girl Shavonda and we had a great time. I, I love McMullen down. The sister who owns it, Sherry McMullen and her entire family. I won't get into the fandom, but just know that we are working together for Fashion Week. And look what they sent me that I cannot wait to show y'all. Hi Tashira, so excited to work with you during New York Fashion Week. Excited to see your fabulous looks. Enjoy the magic of the season. All right, y'all. So, here is the first item. Leave it up to them to just package everything so beautifully. I feel like I don't even really want to open it. I think I know what this one is. And it actually is perfect timing because it goes with this look. So, it's a pair of sunglasses by a brand called Kim Z. Yes, yes, yes. They come in multiple colors, y'all. <laughs> I am borrowing the I am borrowing the green because look. So excited. A little green and blackwood unboxing. I didn't realize this was this size. When I pull out that black sheer dress, you already know what this is about to give. Oh my gosh. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Next, we have another Brandon Blackwood bag. Again, the packaging is one of one. And this one I have loved forever. It's the bamboo black bag in black. Talk about black luxury, it's on a different level. Like in the hardware, y'all, this is substantial. Cannot wait to pop this on with a look as well. Everything will be linked in the description box, of course. Some rays on my backseat, but now I'm driving through today. Time stop when I'm with ya. So my time with you is endless. And I feel the way you're watching. I smile right back at you. And your energy is perfect. This is a love that I can't lose, yeah. You and I are roaming free tonight. Celebrate the love. This rocket ship of love. We on a brand new flight. Some doesn't seem to right lately. What's wrong with ya? With ya? Say please, won't you answer me? I pray that you're okay. Please leave your message for. Hey. The way that I just dogged out this hamburger, I am so happy that nobody I know who would judge me was present because it was 
just slow singing and flower bringing burger by day lower east side crazy we give thanks it was like on a brioche like bun mm. and some tater tots yo anyway just finished shooting with anna um anna shoots on my sd card and then i edit so you probably saw vertical footage of the looks um, I am now in the Saint Laurent piece, but I'm actually going to change out of this because I want to wear this tonight to dinner uh, with some of the girls. And so right now I am going to put on my look of today, which will be the Simon Miller dress because the heels are so comfortable in that. And I'm going to walk to my first show at three. It is 1223. Um, and I just need like a moment to catch my breath and then... We back at it. Also, I just have to have caffeine and I don't always want coffee and a Coke, an ice cold Coke, put me back in the game every time. Uh, I will check in with y'all on my way to the fashion show. Finally checked into the hotel. They let us check in about an hour and a half early. So shout out to the kind people at Moxie. Um, I showed you all the lobby. It is so cute and I cannot wait to go to the rooftop and try out the restaurants while we are here. I booked on hotels.com y'all and they give you a $30 nightly or daily credit that does not roll over. So you have to use it every day, but I love the idea that the reservation included that $30 credit. So I am wearing, as I mentioned, the Simon Miller dress with the Tory Burch shoes and my Bottega clutch. All of these bracelets are by Roshana of Free Maiden. That is a black owned brand. These earrings are by Zara. You would have saw those. And right now I'm just wearing my readers because, or my progressives, um, because my head was starting to hurt. So, and the lip, which I'm going to touch up, is by, I'll make sure I link it, but it's a natural brand. And this is really pretty fuchsia gloss, as you can see. Um, the room is a vibe. I mean, it's New York, right? So it's not huge. <laughs> But we will definitely take it. Let's see what the view is giving. Oh, does this open? Oh, yes, a little bit of a breeze. Great. I love that. This is our view. The desk looks like it pops out. A little small chair there. You do have a full length mirror, which is great. And behind it is where you hang all of your things luggage holder stand the sink is like an old school outside of the bathroom shower is behind here i've just tucked my luggage in there for now because there isn't a lot of space and toilet is of course in here and i am filling the stained glass doors and that is the room let me lighten it up a bit for y'all to do some shopping quick change of plans and uh, I got the box in from McMullen and y'all remember these were in it and so these are a black owned brand called Kimsey and I love the green with the green so I had to switch shoes are still the Tory Burch uh, Patos heels because they're comfortable and we're gonna just walk the 15 minutes or so to Tiffany you in right? Soho I haven't heard from you in a couple hours and I'm kind of getting worried can you just Call me when you get this. Okay, I love you. Bye. 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 Sun rays on my back seat. When I'm driving through today. Time stop when I'm with ya. So my time with you is less. And I feel the way you're watching. I smile right back at you. And your energy is perfect. This is a love that I can't lose. Yeah. The hardest part about your love it. I'm at Ermin trying on amazing jewelry and take a look. Y'all know I love a Malachite moment. I love the pendant, but what I'm probably gonna get is this ring. But all all of the pieces here are fantastic. If you've been looking for my Dior necklace, that is an amazing option. 
leaving Soho. Um, it actually is raining and so I didn't make it to Bergdorf's but that's fine. I was just window shopping today anyway y'all. Um, had a couple things in mind like the Tiffany cuff, the bone cuff which I love. I didn't realize that those come in wrist sizes and they come in three widths as well so my wrists are not the same size and so I need a medium on one and a large on the other so I got to think about what wrist am I likely going to wear the cuff on um the size that I'm looking at is the small and it's $1,400 and I think as I've gone back to starting to wear a bit more silver I just want like one piece of silver statement jewelry and I'll be done so I am finally now headed to the Art Hearts Fashion Show after getting the little shopping done. Um, I got one small thing today. Well, I got two things, but you all have already seen the ring because I had to make it part of the look. The store is called Ermine, I believe, um, and but I'm sure I put it on the screen. But look at that and look how these two look. I'm trying to get the focus how these two look together this is brass dipped in gold um and it's the same thing as my cuffs from roshana from free maiden so i feel like as you can see i've had these for at least two years and they have not turned in the slightest bit um so i like the fact also that the jewelry there has an antique finish so my next piece from them i want to go for a bracelet but i have so many bracelets will probably be necklaces so that i can do like a a stack i got so inspired by shauna stack yesterday hers came from dylan lex or dylan alex um but i like this brand and they give kind of the same vibe as well so i like both um, so let's get to our fashion show. I have more fashion shows tomorrow. I promise y'all I'm not just kicking in with my friends and shopping, but if I was, that would be okay too. Okay. Uh, so we are going to get some of these shows in. We will check back in in a minute. <sighs> New York, New York. It is uh, raining once again. It is New York. <laughs> It's raining once again, and um, the shows that Art Hearts Fashion are producing by independent designers are very, very late. My feet are at capacity, um, and at this big age, I'm not going to even hold you. Like, there's not a bench, there's not a tree stump, and it's raining. No, it's so stupid. You have a strip this place, no. not getting there. <laughs> what Urkel used to say, I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am headed back to the hotel. I am gonna like jump in a shower, just kind of rinse my body off because I don't have much time, but I just feel like it's been hot, it's been sweaty, it's been a lot. Refresh myself. Um, and I am going to change my fit. And then I am going to dinner with some girls and I'm gonna meet someone for the first time. I'm not gonna tell you who, cause you don't have to keep watching. We're going to STK Brooklyn, or I'm sorry, STK New York rooftop. And I am praying that this rain stops because I don't know their contingency plan. <laughs> But I'll see you soon in the next look. Hey, hey. So uh, it is now Saturday night. Uh, wearing the Nordstrom faux leather moto. Also wearing the um, Saint Laurent dress. And I've just loved how this has come together. Instead of wearing the Saint Laurent shoes, though, those are not comfortable. I'm just going to be honest. Um, standing, crossing your legs, looking cute maybe, but walking no um especially not for a long period of time so i am wearing the bottegas which i think work nicely because you have a little pop under the sheer of the dress so I'm running a little behind schedule for the dinner reservation let me get out of here oh y'all how could i forget the bag is the brandon blackwood and she is a moment an icon we love her i just can't get over the luxury that is brandon blackwood's bags this bag is so well made y'all you just won't believe it i typically would not carry it with the shoulder strap but because i am also carrying my camera i don't want to forget anything i will make sure i have the shoulder strap tonight you got hot cheese y'all were just doing the vibe hot sis the makeup is flawless yes <laughs> Do this. <laughs> I prayed for this last night. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> My girl. Look who we got. Look who we got. Hi, Marie. Oh my 
with the girl. Period. I don't know where y'all at, but I'm with the girl. You won't be there soon. Back to my reality where I'm lost without you there. Don't leave. We have had a great night. We're going to wrap this thing on up. But let me tell you why. Okay, let me tell okay. you. I know your people gonna know what that means. Because it's white toenail season. Okay. It don't take a lot to find. And this morning is sponsored by the kind people down at Ibuprofen. Because I'm hungover. Period. 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 I'm open and available. Um, I didn't even have a lot to drink yesterday, but as I'm sure you saw, I was drinking throughout the day from probably about one o'clock to 1 a.m. So it, it's the 12 hours of cocktails in Prosecco that'll get you. Um, nevertheless, we're up. It is a little bit before eight. Uh, I would typically not be this up this early on a Sunday, clearly, but I feel like I just got to make the most of the time that I am here. So we are going to breakfast. Nothing fancy. I'm very low key. I have on this Visit Virginia shirt with a pair of um, joggers from Uniqlo that are very comfortable and my H&M sandals. A skincare routine is on. So a greasy face just to really moisturize. I need to put some eye patches on as well. Um, but let's go to breakfast. I'll show you this cute little spot that I found near the hotel. Come back and fill you in on what has been happening. I've had the wildest ride of my life. And I'm gonna tell y'all about it in just a minute. But first, I had to get here. And this is our meet and greet and hashtag BK. The girls are here, the fashion girls are here. So I cannot wait to take y'all around. The hashtag BK is so cute. I will definitely link the location and mention the hours for you all. But most importantly, I am going to link the Dress and Joy website because these pieces that Michaela has are phenomenal. If you love color, Dress and Joy is for you, trust me. So we are meeting and we are greeting. Meet and greet OOTD. Sunnies are Saint Laurent. Earrings are Kenneth J. Lane. T-shirt is Pat Sun. Blazer is H&M. Shorts are Celine. Boots are Paris, Texas. And then for my bag, I have the new Coach Mirror Collection. And let me insert here a quick video of our girl Chi, who is an executive at Coach, talking all about this entire collection. It gives it this metallic look. But that's why it's going to stand the test of time because it's quality, so it's not plastic. Come on, quality. Actual leather. Uh -huh. And let me see if you, I can't remember, it's yours not cheap. Oh, this one is not lined, but the bags, this is an SOG, the bag is lined in leather, so it's quality. Into justice. Hi, Wango. <laughs> I feel like all the heavy hitters are in the building. Like everybody's come out, including. When you in Brooklyn, I'm here. You know I'm gonna be here. For, for, representing for Brooklyn. Period. Come on now. I'm gonna practice my New York accent. You in Brooklyn? When you were in Brooklyn. <laughs> the meet and greet was a vibe. I mean, an entire vibe, y'all. We had such a great turnout. Thank you to everybody who came. 
Um, I know I didn't really have a chance to talk about it here on YouTube, and it's primarily because I was the first person to post it in my IG stories, not even my feed, y'all. And within an hour, all the tickets were gone. And then the other ladies had only had a chance, I think, to share it. Maybe not even all of them. So then we put another 25 tickets up. Um, so it was a total of 75 tickets. They were all gone within two hours. Less than that, I'm sure. And we didn't want to overwhelm the space because it was at Michaela's shop. And we obviously wanted to be respectful. And we wanted you all to have a good time. And I feel like you were, like, bunched inside. So it worked out because uh, her shop is in Brooklyn. And I was invited to a show of black designers also in Brooklyn and I just rolled past it y'all and I really wanted to go inside but the condition of my feet right now I am unwell I don't know how people do it and it's like you know like the the tiredness and the fatigue is one thing the stress is one thing but when it gets to a point that physically my body hurts I gotta tap out so I'm taking a little bit of a break. I didn't go to the show because there was a long line and I just, I, I cannot physically stand. I had on boots earlier, took the boots off, put on my Zimmermans and those were comfortable for about an hour, but the meet and greet was for three hours and I was done. So um, I am headed back across the Brooklyn Bridge now. I'm gonna go to Soho, kind of do a little bit of shopping, put on my slides, just kind of bring down, recenter myself. Y'all keep rolling with me. I'm gonna get to a place where I can tell you all this wild story. I promise you I'm not trying to like clickbait you or make you watch the vlog. It's just so much happening right now that I cannot think to tell you the wild thing that happened to me. Just know that it involves fashion guru, PR guru, Kelly Catron, who is doing a show tomorrow with Anna Delvey, and me being in a black car with her at 8 a.m. with a pair of jogging pants on and bifocals. Just know that, and then I'm gonna, we gonna go back and roll the beautiful bean footage. Soho taking a fashion week break letting my feet heal and I decided to get some gelato and probably a cocktail was coming to y'all but this place is called Bambina Blue this is lemon crumble and it has actual pieces of like lemon cookie <laughs> this gelato is simple to do a quick change y'all I knew I wanted to be comfortable so let's go through the OOTD I am wearing the Tom Ford Sunnies I actually have not worn these yet I thought I was gonna wear them earlier to the meet and greet and I decided not to uh, I am wearing the Zara earrings again mixed metallics I just have been giving this to y'all all weekend. Zara Boussier, which you would have seen in my prep vlog. The Celine shorts, once again, Bottega Clutch Nordstrom jacket. And then my shoes are by Oliver Campbell Cabell. I think I forget the uh, pronunciation of the last name, but as I told you before, if you like Golden Goose, these are the ones to get. So I love the distress, distressing and the gum sole. I think the gum sole is working with the gold. And let's just be honest, it's raining outside and my feet are obliterated, okay? So I had to do something that was gonna be comfortable. Let's get out of here. I know you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Telly. I'm a fashion influencer and I'm wearing some cargoes from Fashion Nova. Yes. A blazer from Eloquy. This but no, I love the like how you are mixing the under with the blazer. That's brilliant. This is from Gabby Press, my favorite. 
Parker. She was from Ace Girls. Um, it's all things from her. I don't know where from. And uh, my brand new black one. Whoa, wait, I haven't. Is this new? Yeah, it's from his last collection. The Jasmine bag. Yeah. Oh, I, this I, I is. Uh, Brandon is showing out. Okay, love it. You look great, sis. Thank you so much. Okay, we saw this sister right here early, y'all. Let us know who you are, where you're from, and what you're wearing. I'm a princess, I'm a person of fragrance. Um, I'm wearing H&M. This is a skirt from Neverfully Dress. I'm sorry, Hills. Another BB moment. Another BB moment. Amazon fashion. But it's the scar for me and how you're mixing it with this. And the nice, like, leather slice. Hey, so, wait and tell us the skirt one more time. Um, never fully dressed. Never fully dressed. So, love it! When all of the great people are in one place, tell us about who you are, what you do, how we can find you, sis. My name is Freelance Hoyle, and you can find me at Freelance Hoyle on all the social media platforms. I'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger based in Seattle, Washington, and I'm African from Zambia. Ah, okay, tell me where your earrings are from, because we love these. I'm so It's a moment. <laughs> Hello, I'm Chinaza Moses, and my look is Bruce Glenn. Ooh. Yes, and what about the earrings? So the e oh my god, the earrings are vintage from this um, vintage shop in LA called Cannonball and Tilly. Okay. Um, my rings are um, by Sophia. Boots are Primark, and these joggers are joggers I got from Walmart. I love it. And your tooth decals. Look, I'm about gems. Now, yeah. how long do they last? Um, I mean, the first set was like about three months. Okay. These have been on for a month. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm going to get me some. That's why I need to I know. Do that. You do? We got things to discuss. <laughs>
I'm sitting at breakfast yesterday and I see her cross the street. And usually I'm not someone who would approach someone, but I was just feeling a little, you know, it's fashion week, who knows, we'll go networking, say hello to people. I go up to her and I kid you not, this woman immediately shook my hand, jumped up and hugged me. Like we were old friends. She was so incredibly sweet. And I said, hey, here's, you know, my name is Tushira, I'm a reformed attorney, got breast cancer, that follow my passion. More, less stress in life and she was like so you chose fashion and fell out laughing because that was hysterical to her that I would have chosen fashion as my less stressful career but I promise you y'all it actually is less stressful um, and she came outside to where I was sitting and we just really peaked and talked about everything from her partner her kids her you know what her business has been like 57 and she says in the game she's considered to be ancient um, because she has lasted so long in the industry um, and she's very very spiritually grounded so we're talking about everything from food choices it was just like those conversations that you have a few in your lifetime where you just kind of connect with people genuinely so I'm talking about the work that I do and she's like oh I wish that we would have met sooner I would have gotten you into the show that I'm producing tomorrow with Anna Delby Yes, that Anna Delby. So Anna Delby, if for folks who do not know, is the fake heiress who took New York by storm, pretending to be a socialite, pretending to be extremely wealthy, and actually had no money. Um, and she got caught up on charges because she was staying at all of these um, exclusive hotels and claiming that her dad was going to wire them the money. And then when they started to demand their payment, because I mean these were like she was staying for months at five star hotels, she would all of a sudden skip town, going on lavish vacations, not paying people because she had no money. But the gag is that she almost secured a multi-million dollar funding for like a Soho house type, right? Mind you, this woman has no business background and no money, and almost secured multi-million dollar funding from um, these financiers on Wall Street, which is such an example of privilege, but we won't go there. Either way, there is a movie or like a Netflix series, I think, about her life. If you have not seen it, you will absolutely love it. Please go watch it. She got out of jail, she's on house arrest, and she and Kelly Catron, because Kelly Catron is like that girl, and she's gonna tap into the culture, um, are producing a show that's actually today. It's very under wraps as far as the location and all the details because Anna is on house arrest. She said, I wish I, you could come. She said, but what are you doing now? I'm going to a show now that I'm helping a friend to produce. You want to come? Look, it's all Latin American designers. Um, <clears throat> the pieces are absolutely phenomenal. Let's go. Now, mind you, it's probably about 9 a.m. Um, I have on my bifocals, y'all, a t-shirt, sweatpants, and some flip-flops, okay? Without a beat, I said, let's go. She calls a black car, we jump in. She starts playing the playlist for the show that she has with Anna Delby. What do you think about the music, da 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 da? We're just chopping it up, dog, like for real. And we get to the show. It's about, it starts in about two hours, so she's there early to help get everything together. She goes to her people, and you know me, look, if God put me in the room, just get me in the room. So I take out my camera and I'm acting like I'm pressed behind the scenes because I am. <laughs> and so, met the designers, saw their pieces, all the collections were amazing. Let me just actually take you back.
what's important to know about fashion week. Everybody is not the biggest name in fashion, right? Everyone is not a Sergio Hudson. Everyone is not a Proenza. They're not putting on independently these huge productions because they're very, very, very costly. What happens a lot with emerging designers, with student designers, with smaller brands, is that they combine themselves with other smaller or emerging brands, or just brands who don't have the capital, and they meet with or they find a PR agency and a show producer to actually include them, um, you know, in runway shows. And this actual group of designers, I think we're all Latin American, like one designer, um, her pieces were in collaboration with Frida Kahlo's family, for example. And it was a major show because, I mean, you saw the amount of staff and everyone that was in the back getting all of these models together. Women were beautiful. It was on a different level and the space was really, really nice and I wish I would have been able to stay. Shout out to Kelly Control. You are the OG Triple OG. You a boss. You don't make it this far like in life without being able to vibrate at a certain frequency and I just think that her good vibes are palpable and I hope to meet that frequency someday. And maybe I was vibrating that way yesterday and that's why we met. But unfortunately I couldn't stay for the actual show because then at 1 p.m. we had the meet and greet. Meet and greet was phenomenal. I slid in that thing at like 105. And y'all just started bam, 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 back to back. Um, thank you to everyone who was able to make it. We almost canceled it because of the rain and the fact that y'all still showed up in Brooklyn. Means the world to me. Um, and being you know around and with the fashion girls and other people that you all know create content that's one thing right those are my colleagues but being around you all means the world to me because what is most significant is the community that we are building and i said this on ig yesterday it doesn't matter if you have one million followers or if you have one follower the reality is we all have our grain of sand right we are all creating this kind of collective collective moment in the fashion space in a space that has not been inclusive of us, right? Of black people, of non-binary people, of trans people, of queer people. And what we're saying is we are going to make our wave as well. And then you have those who are very, very out in the forefront, who are at the major shows, who are in the publications that we read when we were younger. And then you have those people who are just getting into the game. And I think every everyone's role is significant right the one that's in the forefront is holding space for those who are coming behind and those who are behind are keeping the ones in the forefront relevant so grateful because so many of you all came were emerging content creators or just love fashion and that's all that matters too you have your own brands your solopreneurs y'all just bosses you just like listen i'm not new to it i'm true to it and and and, and that spirit of resilience and bad bitchery and you recognize it's the same in me and shit no mistake all right so hashtag bk divide make sure y'all check that out it is michaela's shop in brooklyn she has a new collection coming out soon that you are going to want to see so then after that i um needed a break because the shoes that i wore were terrible um and i tried to go to a show that i really wanted to go to in brooklyn but when i pulled up the line was around the corner and honestly y'all I, I could not imagine standing my feet were tore up. After that, um, I wanted to get to a show, and I think the brand is Ashlyn Co. And I, here's what I found. Getting to a destination is, the time is meaningless, and I haven't figured out how to calculate my lead time of getting ready. Because I gave myself an hour to get to the show. And I didn't even have to change my clothes. Like I put on a different top, I put on some sneakers, and I was out the door. I just did the silver bustier from Zara with the Celine shorts, mono jacket, and sneakers. But by the time you create your content across all the platforms, you're already late. So got to the show at around 9.20, and this was the one thing that actually started on time this fashion week. So they'd already had the doors locked, unfortunately. But from what I saw online, the looks were tremendous. So I uh, wish I would have been able to go to the show. But either way, I popped in and as you saw, did a little bit of what are you wearing um, and got 
some great inspiration by all of the people's amazing looks, including Princess, a um, personal bravery, who is that girl. Woke up feeling more rested than I have since I have been here. It has been a whirlwind of a few days. Everyone keeps saying how tired they are. I think because this fashion week is kind of the first one back in full effect post the pandemic. It just feels like there are 50 things to do at one time. So um, we're just going to try to keep up the stamina. I took two ibuprofen preventatively this morning because my head gets the banging when I am stressed out. But it's going to be a good day. I am sitting here with my kale salad, kale and avocado, trying to get my greens in early. I'm looking forward to heading to Restoration Park where rooftop I've never been before for brunch. Um, and just gonna kind of ride the last day of Fashion Week out um, and make sure that I'm getting all of my posting done across platforms. And I also, if I can, want to get a newsletter out really quickly. So a lot of big content goals, but I know I can do it. It is 8:51. Um, and so I have a few hours before I need to leave to get the registration hardware and I'm going to make the most of it. So I'll check in with y'all soon. We are brunch ready. Sorry if I'm a sweaty mess. Something is going on with the AC in the room. I've literally had to pop open the door. I don't know about y'all, but I'm one of those people that when I'm getting dressed, it could literally be winter outside. I'm sweating. Top lip sweat is my op. Like, it's going to happen. Nevertheless, this is my favorite eye makeup look that I have done. I will definitely link the palette down below. But it almost has, like, a unicorn vibe. So I'm playing with purples and with blues. I thought that would be a nice kind of vibe, jewel tone vibe to go along with the lime green as well as the blue. Uh, really quickly, y'all already know this outfit because you saw it in my New York Fashion Week uh, prep video. But let me show you the look. Sunglasses are by Kimsey, a black owned brand. I picked these up on loan from McMullen. My earrings you all have seen a bunch of times. These are by Amazon. I am wearing the Coach Mira bag. Also, I'm wearing a cuff. This is by Revolve, or this bangle rather, y'all have been asking me about on social media. The jacket is by Alice and Olivia. I wore this actually in February's fashion week. It was a full suit. Um, the dress is by Bottega, as I had mentioned. The shoes are by Zimmerman. What I really wanted to do, y'all, was wear those Paris, Texas boots, but after three days of walking in heels, my feet just cannot do it. So that is the look on my lips is um, a nude lip by the Lip Bar, and I just have on top of it a Dior gloss. Again, all my makeup will be linked down below. Let's get out of here. <laughs> It's the birthday girl. One time for the birthday chick. Let us know about this OOTD because it's fantastic. Okay, so I am wearing Finoel by Target netted dress and H&M blazer, Zara clutch, Louboutins. These shoes are not made for walking, <laughs> but we are just doing it for the fit. And then what else? That's it. I mean, okay, so here's the thing. I think we all saw that dress and nobody knew how to wear it. Yeah. So this is the skill. Yeah. So this? this is how we rock it. We love it. Okay. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get into who's at the table. Rumi. Hello. Hi sis. Hi. Ashlyn. Hello. Hi sis. Marion. <laughs> Viola. I had the time of my life again. I love outside. This shit crazy.
that was phenomenal as you saw it was otherworldly um all of the designs are 100 percent my aesthetic all the suiting the pop of color but it's mostly black and white i mean just a vibe <laughs> i can't even describe it and i'm grateful my mind is blown that i have wanted to be in this industry before influencing even came about my blog started before social media and to see behind the scenes in such detail was so dope uh, met ted gibson the guru in the hair game do y'all remember when he was on um what not to wear obviously he's still a legend he's an icon doing hair the wild part is that to see how his assistants work with him and they are a well old machine i can tell you more later y'all i have so much just my mind is it's it's blown literally that emoji of a mind being blown is what i am right now y'all know i'm more articulate than this <laughs> usually but i just don't even have the words especially because right now i am rushing to try to arrive with kelly and 31 of the models to the location and i had no idea that that was going to happen that we were going to be able to actually go to the show is at a secret location all i have is an address she pointed at me and she was like you coming and i said yep she said all right you gotta drive because the bus is full i said all right i'd overheard them say the address had wrote it down you gotta stay ready okay <laughs> because she don't have the capacity right now to be chopping it up with a random that she met yesterday all right so i'm not gonna miss my blessing um and i am 10 minutes away so let me put my shoes back on and i think we are about to go to the nfl So that was a wild ride, y'all. It was a very wild ride. As you can see, things were happening so quickly in real time until I couldn't even talk to the camera. Uh, just know that my time in New York Fashion Week this year, it changed my life. And I'm not being hyperbolic. I am being very serious, very concrete. Not because I met Kelly Catron and not because I met Anna Delvey, but because I can just see much more clearly now what my purpose is and the way in which I want to move about this industry and create a lane that is unique to me. And so I am still sitting here days later as I edit this blog, y'all, in shock. And as I sit here and I edit, y'all, I am so tickled because I said to you in the video um, on the last day, here are my plans for the day, but nothing that I plan has gone to pass. It has not come to fruition this trip. So by the end of the day, I might be on Mars and I found myself on Anna Delvey's rooftop, which if you would have told me before Fashion Week, that's where I was going to end up. It might as well have been Mars. So y'all know me, uh, I come from a spiritual place and I could not end this vlog without 
just giving a word about what it means to be in the right place, the right time, and to be open. I really feel like one of the reasons I got invited by Kelly to the show is because I just played it low-key the entire time in the background while I was there behind the scenes. I wasn't trying to be the loudest one in the room. I wasn't trying to do so much. I wasn't taking selfies with people, right? Nothing wrong with any of those things if that's how you move about the world. But for me, I felt like in that moment, the gratitude that I had to God, to the universe, called me to just be still, to just be present. And there were other things that I wanted to do in New York for that day for sure. And I literally ran out of brunch um, and wasn't able to kind of do the fashion week traditional things that I had planned. And instead, I hopped into this whole universe that I always wanted to be a part of, especially because for me, my first kind Kind of love of fashion started with me wanting to be a model and so the moment that I was again just playing it low-key kind of in the cut and Kelly Catron looked at me and said you get in there and like push me forward to get in front of the camera and the photographer started to take my photo it was mind-blowing I mean I no longer want to be a model but the fact that I didn't have to get ready because I stayed ready because that's how my God is set up lets me know that nothing is beyond me, that whatever comes to me, I've actually already called for in a very mighty way because my blessing is here. It is a matter of me claiming it. And so I had a wild ride this fashion week and I hope that even if you are not someone who is knee deep in fashion or you don't work in the fashion industry, there's something about the moments that I experienced that will speak to you and remind you to just stay the course y'all because i started to really get down i was like nothing is gonna be in this vlog right I, I i was told i couldn't step into one show that had nowhere for me to sit it was raining outside so i left the next show i got there late the other show i had to stand up my feet were hurting like I really was thinking that I would not have any content for you all. And I woke up on Monday morning and I just had so much FOMO and just feeling like, why am I here? Why am I doing this? Is the investment even worth it? And then bam, my entire life and perspective changed. And it is, I think, once again, a testament to just simply being obedient, right? And just tr being, just trusting on God and like trusting yourself and I don't know y'all, I could give this testimony over and over and over again for the rest of my life and the words that I could share with you would not be powerful enough to explain to you the way that I feel. And also the fact that I feel like this is the moment that is going to catapult me into a completely different realm. And it's, it's not about, again, the people that I met and who I was around. It is about my mindset and the shift that has occurred. And so I appreciate y'all for being part of the ride. Thank you so much. If you got this far, far in the vlog, girl, I hope definitely you are subscribed to my channel. If not, now is your time. Also, you are part of the private community. They saw so much first before it even made it to the vlog, as well as an unboxing that is only in the private community, y'all. And don't forget to tune into my podcast, justice. That is all for now. I will see you good people cross the internet.